back to another one of my towny makeovers. If this is the first episode to this series, please go ahead and catch up because we started with the goths. In fact, let me just show you everyone I've done in this makeover series so far. I'm basically CCing up all of the Sims townies. So far, we've done the goths, we've done the calientes, we've done the pancakes, we've done the pleasant twins. And last time we did the BFF family. So I'm basically taking my own uh, CC, my own style and applying it to the EA townies because I genuinely don't play with EA townies. I don't know that much about them. So this is a fun opportunity for me to learn a little bit more about those characters that so many people know and love, whilst also basically dressing them up like dolls, because that's kind of what I like to do in The Sims. So I was looking at everyone from Willow Creek. Um, I know we sneaked in a bit of Brychester, 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 who really knows, and Oasis Springs, um, but I've basically done three Willow Creek families, which leaves one of the existing Willow Creek families behind, which is the Spencer Kim Lewis's. Now, I tried to read this earlier on, and my pee brain could not figure it out. So here is a breakdown. Dennis Kim and Lydia Spencer had a daughter named Alice Spencer Kim, then divorced. Now Alice married Eric Lewis and had her own little girl, Olivia Kim Lewis. And they live out with Alice's dad, Dennis, and Eric's mom, Vivian Lewis. Hey, nobody said family life was easy. Now, I was so confused by that. I literally didn't have a clue what that meant. I was looking at it and being like, so are they divorced, but they still live together and co-parent their child? And then the dad lives there? I was super confused. The easiest way I found to figure out this family was actually just to go here and have a look at the relationships. So you have Alice and Eric who live are the parents of, yeah, you have Alice and Eric who are the parents of Olivia, who is this sim right here. And we also have Eric's mother, Vivian, living in the household and Alice's father, Dennis, living in the household. So who is... Lydia Spencer. Have we ever see Lydia? She still lives with her dad, but the mom doesn't live with them anymore. So I'm guessing she's just not in the game. I'm not sure. But they basically all live in a house together. And also no one in this house has a job. Um, So that's kind of impressive because they live in the big, like really modern house, which I think was behind yeah, it's behind where I built the dream house, I think. Because this is the lot that I built the dream house on. And their house is just behind it. Yeah, so I do recognize the house because it sat there behind the dream house the whole time. It's freaking huge. It's like a big, very modern mansion. And yet no one has a job. So how are you going to pay your bills, Sims? I do not know. In fact, neither does the game because it suggests getting them employed as soon as you move in. So it's a little bit of an unconventional family, but it also isn't really. It's basically just these guys who are married living with... He lives with his mother and his father-in-law and Alice lives with her husband and a mother-in-law. Brave. Very brave. I, I'm like on two sides with this because I think on the one hand, it's great to live with your parents because then parents grow up around your children, especially if you have a good relationship with your parents. Your parents grow up around your children. Your parents never left to be lonely, especially if they lose a spouse. And I really like the idea of a really close family unit um, all being there to support each other. But if you don't get on with your in-laws, it would be a freaking nightmare. So I'm assuming they all get on well. I mean, Alice has nice traits. She's like childish, creative, and loves the outdoors. And she wants to become a painter. And her mother-in-law is a foodie who's family oriented and cheerful. So honestly, really lovely to live with. She's domestic and she wants a big happy family. She has all the traits of a nice mother-in-law. They've gone for the nice mother-in-law approach, not the Reddit mother-in-law approach. And then Eric is materialistic, self-assured, and a glutton. And he wants, he's a mansion baron who's business savvy. So I'm assuming he is the one that, you know, he, he wanted the mansion. So that's his mansion originally, I'm not sure. And then his father-in-law, law is neat, loves the outdoors and perfectionist and wants a successful lineage and is also domestic. So both of the uh, grandparents are domestic, just slightly different types of domestic. So I think it could work. I kind of want to play with them now and see if they end up not getting on or if they clash. But who knows? We are going to start with Eric, however. So he has skills in logic and programming and he shows up in the malpractice household in the video of the same name. It might mean that he's supposed to be employed in the doctor career and get to work. Ah. I can kind of see it. Maybe like successful surgeon. That's how he got the house. Okay. I might kind of channel that logic. He, he's a smart dresser. If we just count the top half, not these wide trousers and the strange shoes. But he's a, he's, you know, a smart dresser. And let's go ahead and throw a bit of CC on him. Now, because there's five sims in this household, I can't do my usual duplication so we can do the whole before and after thing. So instead, what I will do is I will take a little, little screenshot now. We'll do a little face screenshot and we'll do a little body screenshot just so I can check how they look before and after. Okay. 
So, hello, Eric. I'm gonna nip in and none of these eye colors are really doing it for me. So let's have a nosy in makeup. Oh, let's find some nice eye details for you, my friend. Because I often find that I struggle to get brown eyes that go dark enough brown whilst still being quite detailed. So these ones are pretty good because there's still quite a lot of detail, but they're a bit red. It's like he's been on his PC a bit too much. These G35s are pretty good for still having detail. And the G7s are as well. Of course, when I add my little eye flex, that should help out the situation too. But I just don't like how there's often like, you know, really vibrant, like detailed eyes for the lighter eye colors. And then to be fair, these are great too. Some of the dark swatches, I just don't like very much or they end up being too light brown. But I want dark brown, but still like beautiful eyes. Especially because brown eyes are like my favorite eye color. So I'm going to go for these G27s because I've not used them before. And he's got a strong brow. So I want to keep that. I might go for this MG9, but I'm going to use my sliders to extend his brows a bit. If you looked, um, if you caught my skin, sorry, my hair CC um, over the weekend, I did like a hair CC overview of all of my hair CC. I actually linked to these brows and also to the, um, oh, it means move his brow, to the slider that I used to make eyebrows thicker and uh, stronger as well. And then I would like to keep the facial hair, but I think I might go for for maybe this either this one right here or maybe this one here as well this is the proline one he does have a nice jawline and a strong chin I'm kind of feeling this one i'm also kind of feeling that one i'm gonna chuck this on him just for now and let's have a look at some skin details now he is a young adult oh, but you, you have a bit of a frowny brow for a young adult there okay um so i'm probably gonna go for a skin detail that has a little bit more texture to it just because if they've given him the lines on his forehead it kind of makes sense i don't don't use this joshua skin very much but i feel like it's keeping his like forehead definition which i kind of like although it's also kind of immediately cuts out here and he's gonna have a shaved head i don't know if that will look a little bit strange i could keep the forehead lines but go for a skin detail from down here or even go for one like this and then i can still put the forehead wrinkle on Ooh. That's a good plan. Okay, and then I'm going to put these eyelid overlays on just to get a bit more of his original eyebrow, um, eye shape there. And okay, I'm liking where we're going so far. I'm liking that we kept those little wrinkles on his forehead. I think it makes him look quite distinct. Okay, I feel like his eyebrows are stopping kind of mid-eye. Not always, but they do often tend to extend a little bit further. So I'm going to see if I can lengthen his brow shape just a tiny little bit without changing his face shape too much. Or whether I just go for some different brows. Yeah, I don't want to change his face shape. Okay, I think they're looking pretty good good so this is kind of where i'm at so far let's put some little eye flex on him and whatnot little shine never hurt anyone okay looking good and then i kind of want to keep he has like this his top half at least i think has quite like a oh no what's just happened what has just happened there where has this come from when i take his top off it <laughs> why why does that happen i don't understand okay let's try this again there we go um he kind of is like i feel like he dresses quite well like he's got a nice dress um quite an expensive taste i would say so we'll try and keep a bit of that i liked his little roll neck moment i thought that was really nice i love a roll neck i love a roll neck both on myself and also i like a roll neck on um other folks particularly on manines i think it suits them okay that might be a bit too bougie let's let's tone it down a bit something like this i think kind of keeps that uh expensive taste but also adds a little coat which i think is kind of cute there's a short version too or i just have like a nice roll neck although it doesn't look as cozy as the one that he had originally i don't really want to like you know make him look less cozy than he did before well that looks pretty cozy too and the whole point of doing like the cc makeover is you can give him like a bit more of a uh just you know a little bit more sun sun maybe a bit more layering action so i mean that's a cute look but would i make him too businessy especially since he doesn't have a job but he is this materialistic business savvy person so maybe dressing him a little bit more businessy makes sense i have matching trousers I could give him the full suit, but then full suit, it's almost a bit too michy matchy. What about if you switch to some darker trousers and like a smart shoe? I don't know. Or whether... I mean, I kind of like that. But I also think that original coat looked good on him. This is another roll neck with coat option, but I think this is too much. This is like a happy medium. I think that suits him. Ooh, I like the green on him. I do like the green. I also love a bit of red. The blue as well. The check as well. Burberry vibes. Little hands tooth. I'm kind of torn between this and this. I like the green. See, I think that, that is a smart look. And he's meant to be businessman. Dress. You no, know, right now he's unemployed, but dress for the job you want, you know? And I think that's a nice look. Look. Okay, so I've definitely smartened him up a lot, I would say. And then face before, face afterwards. I think it's still the essence of him, but I think he's 
kind of more handsome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, we've got Eric done. I kind of want to move on to the wife now. So let's do Alice next. So Alice wants to be a painter. She is a childish, creative, loves the outdoors. They seem kind of like a little bit chalk and cheese, but they do say the opposites attract and they now have this child together as well. So let's go ahead and give her a go because I'm kind of digging that she's like this artsy, like almost hippie-esque with the clothes and stuff. And then he's like so business savvy. So we'll try and keep them looking really different to each other with our makeover. I'm going to use in the G16 eyes on her. And I don't know. I'm looking forward to making her over, but I used to always prefer doing male sims. Whereas recently I found myself kind of being quite excited to do um, female sims. No. The, exactly what I said, but the, completely the other way around. I used to always prefer doing female sims, but recently I've kind of been enjoying doing uh, male sims. And okay, I kind of like the Megan skin overlay on her, which is, I think, a Prawling skin. And I like looking at their nose from the side before I like decide which nose overlay to put on, because I feel like this one kind of looks right from the side. Catching her nose on the end, but not so much in the middle. And then, okay, let me pull up her face again. Did she have any makeup on? She doesn't really have any makeup on at all. So I'll probably keep her makeup quite subtle. Because some of these, like if I do that, it looks really strong. But then if I bring it in a lighter color, slide it completely down. Just put a tiny little bit on like this that like you can barely see it. But when you take it off, you can see the difference. So I like that, just like little hint. And then just like a natural lip color on her. That's looking cute. And then I'm wondering whether it's just at like the tiniest touching of blush. Oh, I was going to do a shine, but it's actually messing with her skin a little bit. Okay, maybe I'll just do a tiny blush then. So I just think it's kind of warm. Just like a little bit like that. Okay, and then we've got like straight, long, dark hair. In her original, it's kind of tied into a loose ponytail. This ponytail's kind of freaking huge. Um, I don't know if it's like a little bit too big compared to her original one. It's kind of like in a, a loose bun situation. It does definitely keep her with these quite like hippie vibes. I do have this one too. I'm kind of not, I don't know. I'm not in love with any of these. Let's have a look. We don't have to go for the loose bun. We can try and like reimagine it a little bit. Though that is not flattering on her head shape. I think as long as it looks quite natural and flowy, I think that's kind of what we're trying to go for here. Like loose, relaxed, kind of like her. Like she's not as like materialistic and stuff as her husband. She's a bit more chill. Oh, so I've got this wings hair. See, I quite like that. And if I put this, so it's got a little bit of streak of some like gray hairs in there. I know she's only a young adult, but it could be kind of a nice bit of a balance where he's got like the little ring on his forehead and she's got just a few especially if you have dark hair sometimes you do end up getting a few grays showing like a little bit earlier than you might ordinarily i thought just like a few little rings in her ear kind of like matches this whole artist spirit i don't know i thought that could be kind of cute and uh, let's pop some flex in okay i think she's looking cute now outfit outfit i'm gonna try to find hard because i don't really know what this is saying to me. I, I don't know what this is trying to be. Like, it's kind of relaxed, loose, a loose fit and flowy skirt, of which I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have a lot. Short skirts or little tartan skirts, that kind of thing. I have a bunch of, but short skirt, uh, long skirt, sorry. I kind of only have this one, which works really well until you realize that, oh no, I thought it had a Gucci belt, but it doesn't. Okay, we could actually be onto something here then, because if there's no Gucci belt, I can kind of keep this like hippie dippy look, which is exactly what we want to go for. So she was previously in yellows and brown before. I like the browns. I think this is very cute. That would be the yellows. Oh, that one has all cuts on it. That's cute. But I really like that. I think that's very pretty. That with like a cute little top could definitely be a vibe. And I could go for this sort of thing, but I'm thinking something like that. That looks cute. <gasps> See, that's so pretty. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna pop these little... Oh, they look so cozy. Little cozy sandals on her to match. And then she's got a watch on. Oh, no, it's a bracelet. My bracelets are broken. <laughs> I'm just gonna swap it out for this little watch. I think that's pretty. And then for her fingernails, I can either go yellow or brown. Yellow is like the easy option. Brown, I think brown looks really pretty. But I'm kind of... I like dark nails. And her nails can't be long because she's an artist. So that would just get annoying. So I'm gonna keep them fairly short like here. Yeah. <gasps> I think that's nice. Okay. And then she's got the tattoo on her arm as well. I love her. She's kind of like, I, I like her a lot. I've never ever played with this family and they're actually a lot more interesting than I originally thought. And although they seem quite different at face value, if you look at their parents, um, like aspirations, they're both family orientated. So I feel like even though they seem opposite in terms of their interests, they clearly have been raised with the same values, which kind of probably explains why they ended up falling in love. So I think that's really nice. And I'm looking for an arm tattoo that isn't like too intense. These are all on the wrong side, unfortunately. I have to pick one of these ones. I really like buns, so I would totally get a tattoo like this in real life, but 
Her original one was a lot bigger and I don't want to like take away too much. Like I like that she has a sleeve and I think it's important that she keeps a sleeve. But I'm finding it hard to get a good custom content sleeve on the arm. Oh, this one has different designs. Okay, great. Um, I don't think I want to go color off. Maybe because of the artist thing, the color could be quite pretty. I think that's really nice. I'm kind of seeing like, is this like a koi design as well? But she did originally have a black tattoo. But then I don't know, look, I'm looking at original tattoo and that has like flowers and scales. And this one has flowers and fish. So that kind of works. Okay, Alice Spencer Kim is done. Wait, necklace. Okay, I feel like this is kind of suiting her hippie energy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and we're all done. So original Alice dress, original Alice face, updated Alice dress. I would 100% wear this outfit and updated Alice face. Let me know what you think of her. Her surname Spencer Kim is a mixture of her dad being Kim, which is a Korean surname and Spencer, which was her mom's surname, who isn't in the family. So that's her background. And if I was playing this family, I would definitely want to give her like a, if she doesn't already have it in the house, she may well do but like a painting studio because she does have very artsy vibes. And I love that. Okay. I kind of want to save Olivia for last because I'm looking forward to her the most. So let's nip over to Vivian now. So she's got a skill point in comedy and video gaming and four points in cooking. I love that she has the big fa happy family aspiration and she dresses well. Like she's got a very smart jacket on. Her formal outfit is very dressy and she has nice traits. I like that she's cheerful. Okay. So I kind of want to keep this um very like well-dressed older lady vibe about her. She reminds me actually both of my grandma and Ali's grandma because they're both very well-dressed elderly ladies ladies too. We love a glamorous elder lady. Go for like a dark gray eyebrow, not too light. And then her skin details. Wait, let me do her eyes first. Lots of beautiful brown eyes today. Kind of liking these ones on her. G34s. And then let's have a look at some skin details. So I do have some elder specific skin details, which I think I might use for both of our um, elderlies. This is the V older skin. And now I love how detailed it is, but I feel like it's making her look older than she actually looked. And I also have this intro skin, which you you can age gradually, which I actually really like about her. So it's like, which aging makes more sense for this kind of face or this kind of face? And I'm feeling this one. I feel like that just suits her a little bit more. But I'm going to add back on those wrinkles uh, because the sun has them too. So it could be like a family trait that they develop like forehead wrinkles. With me and my mom, it's our eyes. So, you know, the way you age is inherent. And this is like, there's stuff that I realize when I'm not attached to the Sims that I like how they age. And I don't do this with my Sims because I find it really hard to age my Sims. But this area of her face here, that part of your face keeps growing your whole life. And so one thing you do notice is the elderly people tend to have a longer area here. And it's one of the reasons that your lip also end up, they get thinner over time anyway, they lose volume. But it's also because this bit of skin keeps growing. So it's quite cool seeing, seeing it in an elder sim. I just need to get to the point where I can do this to my own sims without feeling like sad for aging them. I'm just going to add like a smattering of freckles across her cheeks as well, because we often freckle more as we age too. And then for her hair, I don't really have any afro texture your hair that's very short. It all tends to be a little bit longer, all the ones that I have downloaded anyway. So I'm kind of wondering what to do because I don't want to change her hair texture. So I could go for like something like this. I don't like the texture on that one. Something like that as well. It just feels so long. I liked her original hair, but I just don't have a CC version. So I can either just keep her hair the way it is, or I do have like the proline shaved head, which if we're saying we have to replace all parts with CC is probably going to be our best bet. So I'm going to go for that instead. And then her earrings, again, are going to be really hard to switch out. Um, My earrings are all very young. Do you have these? They're a bit mod, but they're the only ones that I've got that are like kind of big. Oh, I don't like them. <laughs> I tried. Again, it's just a bit young. I mean, they look really cool on her, but they're too young. So I'm going to go for these little drop star earrings. Okay. And then I want to keep this like cute, like well-dressed older lady. So do I have like a nice little older lady's jacket? I've got this ruby bird one here, which is really cute and actually does have a matching skirt. I feel like I've used this again recently and I feel like I'm drawn to this color every time I put these on. Yeah, I've put this on someone. Uh, I've definitely put that color as well. I mean, the blue looks very cute too. Otherwise, what do I put on her? That that's no, that would be cute, but it's it's clipping in at weird angles everywhere. Too low, too high. Oh, hello. 
Okay. A little, a little cute jumper moment. Kind of more practical for around the house as well. Then some little sensible head trousers. I kind of, I kind of like these two together, like a wine and sage combo. I know they always like red and green, never seen, but I, I like it. I don't know. With some nice little sandals. See, I think that looks comfy as well. It looks practical and it looks comfy. And I'm going to paint her nails because I feel like she'd be the kind of old person to have her nails painted. I'm going to go red to match her top. And I think we're done with good old Viv. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think we've kept a kind face. Um, I really like the details on her skin, especially on her cheeks. So let me know what you guys think too. So before and before and after and after. I really like her face. I hope you guys do as well. And then let's move on to Dennis Kim. Mr. Kim, who is neat, loves the outdoors and is a perfectionist. So his daughter got the loves the outdoors trait from um, him, I guess. And he dresses very sensible head. Okay. I do not think I've got CC hair that's going to match his. I'm just going to put that out there before we even get into this. Okay. I've put CC eyebrows on and thickened them up. I think those eyebrows are looking pretty good. Going to match his eyes to the daughters, like the um, um, his eye color got passed down too. And let's check out the V on him. See, I just kind of want to use the skin at least once, you know? Although the other skin I was using, which is, where's my other elder skin? Here, the intro has a male version. Also has a monolid version as well. So it could be quite fun to give that a go. So it's that versus... That. See, I want to use this. I've never used it, so I got to go for it. And this paw detail, I would usually go for this. I was going to go for this one, but I like the idea that maybe there's like a bit of skin reddening over time. Because again, this is meant to be an elder sim. Now, how am I going to do... I don't have a CC mustache. I have this. I don't feel like it's right. Either we keep the original mustache or I just lose the mustache entirely or we go for this. I'm kind of tempted to go for that. Let's at least try and change every part. Ha oh, okay, hair. Hair is going to be very hard. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know how to do a CC remake of that hair when I have nothing even close. I may just have to give him a full head of hair that's gray. <laughs> or I may just have to keep his original hair. Maybe go a bit shorter so you can't see that it's clay. But I can't really see another solution here. Here. I don't I don't download old hair so I don't have any old hair as a result so I think this is kind of all I can do okay and then I need like a little nice maybe something like this I don't know when I put this on young sims I'm like wow I love that love a cardigan looks so smart if you put it on an old sim it just kind of looks right like it looks old. It just transforms into old vibes. And I like that he looks a little bit more relaxed in it. So I think, you know, wearing a... Was he wearing a suit and tie? Wearing a tie at home is very smart. Like, I'm assuming you're not working anymore. You're old. And I, I can give you one. I just... I, don't, I, I want him to, like, be cozy. Still smart, but a bit more cozy. Like, that looks so much nicer. I, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. I'm gonna keep his trousers quite smart. I'll keep his little socks. I really just want to put him in slippers. <laughs> but I won't, because I don't think he'd like it. But we will put some like smart but like comfy shoes. I want to I want to make him look more like old man. And that's all I can do on Dennis, which sucks. It's the hair that let me know. But uh before and before I think his eyebrows looked very dark compared to his hair before, I would say. And then after and after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which means we can move on to the star of our show today, which is Olivia. So Olivia has the goofball trait. She's also an artistic prodigy. So she's definitely taking after mom. And she is a very cute little kid. Okay. Now I can go from eyes from either side. So I'm just going to try all the eyes on and see which ones like suit her the best. Because they look cute. But they also look cute. Oh, it's hard. Hmm. I'm gonna keep these ones for now. Ooh, when you change your eyebrows, you realize she's actually got a really defiant little brow. Yeah, in almost every eyebrow shape, she has a really defiant brow. I don't want to lose that. I like that. That's cute. I'm kind of desperate to know what she looks like aged up. Any of you guys have played with them and aged her up? Let me know what you thought of her older appearance in the comments. And this eyebrow here, this is the G18. It has like two black shades and this one's just a bit softer. And I kind of prefer a bit softer on children because like obviously kids don't like fill in their eyebrows and stuff. So I think that's like a nice middle ground. Okay, so dad's skin details were kind of similar to this. And then mom's were actually also quite similar to that. In fact, yeah, that was the same as mom's. Okay, so we could go for this skin, but more of the dad's eye shape. Okay, so this is kind of where I'm at so far. So we've got dad's 
face eye shape. Mum's nose overlay. I switched out the skin for V because that's what Grandad is wearing. So we've got like a little bit of everything so far. And we've got the start of the same freckles that Grandma has. This is nice. I've got like two generations to pull from. And let's pop some little <clears throat> eye flex. Sorry, my throat is very scritchy, scratchy at the moment. Okay, she's looking very cute. And then she's got like bob length black hair. Now, I did find a hair the other day that I'd not used before and I was like, huh, I really like that hair. Obviously, now I can't find it anymore because that's just the way Sims works. It has a headband. <gasps> Although I did just download this the other day and it's like my favorite hair. Look how cute that is. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Yes, I knew this would look cute on her. So that hair I think looks so pretty and it's kind of a similar length to her original one. It's a little bit longer. And then she's got like a little t-shirt and paint splattered jeans because she's into art. Get it, I get it. Okay. What can we give her that feels arty vibes. I kind of like the idea of dressing her in similar colors to her mom. I think that would be quite cute. I have this little cardigan top combo. And if I do that, I'd either change her hair or a headband. And I can go for like these kinds of trousers or... I basically want to make her look like artsy as well. I think it would be adorable. Maybe with a little corduroy skirt. I think that's cute. Oh, I love it in yellow. <gasps> she's like the opposites of her mom in terms of color. That's so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to change her hair. Obviously, she suits my favorite hair, but don't worry. I won't do it. I'm kind of seriously thinking about giving her that hair. Or like because it looks so shiny. Look, that's her uh, be hair before. Look how shiny it looks afterwards. It looks so shiny and healthy. Okay, I love that. And then I'm thinking maybe little boots or like this kind of thing. Yeah, the little boots with some tights. Okay, I was gonna give her the, the high boots and I realized she's the perfect candidate for these socks. So I'm gonna switch it out for the socks with some like smaller boots like this. <gasps> she's so cute. I, she has such strong like little mama's girl vibes. I think she's actually adorable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So outfit before, face before, outfit after, face after. I think she's like, I think she looks more like a dad. I think she's like got way more of a dad's features, but I think she's got her mum's interest in art. So they've both kind of come through. So let me know what you guys think of my updated Kim Lewis's in uh, the comments below. I, this family, I've got to admit other than their house, had literally never even entered my radar before today, but I'm kind of like, they're interesting. I like that they're like, this blended family. Well, they're not. They're not actually. They're not a blended family. They are a family who've asked their, um, or invited their parents to live with them to help out with childcare. Both their parents are very interested in um, like family lineage and family and they're very domestic. And then they've got this Olivia as well. So I think it's a really cute little dynamic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you are still enjoying the series, please give it some love. I think we'll move on to Oasis Springs next. So if there's anyone from Oasis Springs you would like me to give a go, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.